In this video, we shall discuss construction lines. A construction line is a line of infinite length. Construction lines are used to establish construction as well as reference lines to help us with our drawings. Construction lines, once set up, can be incorporated into our drawing objects by using methods such as trimming, filleting, and so on. We commonly refer to construction lines as X lines. Let's go ahead and open up a new session of AutoCAD and see how we can create and manipulate construction lines. So with our AutoCAD session opened, let's go over to the draw palette, click on the drop down, and hover over here we have construction line. Let's click on it. And so now we must specify a point. So I'll click to select one. As we can see, we have an infinite line. We now need to specify a another point through which this line will run. So I will select a point by clicking. And we have our construction line put in. The construction line command is still active. So the program is attempting to continue giving us more construction lines using the first point we selected as one point on the construction line and then enabling us to select a second point to draw the construction line and so on. Let's say I want to do just these three. So to terminate out of the construction line command, I will hit enter and I have my construction lines. Let's do another one. So we can go to the draw palette and click on the construction line icon, or we can go to the command line and type in the command X line for construction line and hit enter. And now we're asked to specify a point or we have some options here. We can draw a horizontal X line, a vertical X line, or an X line at a specified angle, and some other options. So let's select to draw a vertical construction line. So I'm gonna type V, hit enter. So now I need to specify point through which my vertical X line shall run through. So I will select here by clicking and there I have it. And so again the X line command with the vertical option will remain active to enable me add more of such until I hit enter to terminate the X line command. Let us repeat the process, but this time we shall draw a horizontal X line and we'll specify a point by quoting the point's coordinates as the point through which we want our horizontal X line to run through. So in the command line, let's type X line 
enter. And then we'll type H for horizontal. And now specify a point. So let's put in the, let's type in the coordinates of a point. So let's select the point 14 in the X and 12 in the Y. And then we'll hit enter. Or rather, 14, comma, 12. Hit enter. And as you can see, it puts it in at the point 14, comma, 12. Let's put in an, another one that runs through the point 15 in the X and 13 in the Y. So 15, comma, 13. And it puts it in for us. Again, to terminate the X line command, we shall hit enter on the keyboard and it terminates out of the, the construction line command for us.